If you have watched Animal Planet or National Geography for even some time, you could imagine what it would be like for a lamb to venture into the territory of wolves. Quite horrifying, right? <laughs> Nevertheless, that is exactly how our Lord sees the mission of a Christian. My dear brothers and sisters, a lamb is one of the most peaceful and docile animals. Therefore, when our Lord compares a disciple of his to a lamb, he intends for him to be a herald of peace. In fact, a greeting of peace is the first word he wants us to speak in our missionary activity, as we heard in today's gospel. However, we must keep in mind that this greeting of peace, which we can so easily utter with our mouths, it will become a reality in the life of the other only when we share with them the person of Jesus. After all, He is the King of Peace and it is only when He reigns in the heart of a person, he or she can truly, truly experience peace. And it is precisely for sharing Christ with others that we will be hated by many. As our Lord reminds us in the Gospel of St. John chapter 15, verse 18, then we begin to understand the true nature of the Christian mission. We begin to feel like little lambs in the midst of wolves. We realize that being a Christian is not an easy task since the duty it entails is an extremely difficult one. All right, so does this mean that we simply quit? That we just go with the flow of the world? <laughs> no. Our Lord wants us to realize that there is something better in store for us for enduring as lambs in the midst of wolves. That is why he reminds us in the Gospel of St. Matthew, Blessed are you when they revile you falsely on a, my account, on my name. Rejoice and be glad for great is your reward in heaven. My dear brothers and sisters, we simply cannot neglect our Christian duty and choose to remain in our comfort zones. No, not at all. You and I, we are made not for comfort, but for greatness. We are created to participate in divine glory. And that is possible only by living as Jesus' little lambs in the midst of wolves in this life of ours. And we can be sure that He will provide us with all the necessary graces we require to do so. Amen.